G'day guys, welcome to my eight exercise machine only high intensity giant set shoulder workout. Now I start with the side raises, slight bend in the elbow. Aiming to get a nice pump and burn in the medial deltoids. Those are the muscles between your rear delt and your front delt. The muscles that give you that width in your frame, in your shoulders. So perform about 12 to 15 reps on each side just to, um, to get these muscles firing in preparation for what's to come. Now you're gonna be performing each exercise three times over. The next exercise is the Cybex machine shoulder press sitting down. As you can see, full range of movement and I'm, there are two grips you can assume here. I'm taking the outside grip for a bit more width in the shoulders. It's a decent weight, moderate weight. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. And my aim here is to get you know, anywhere from 12 to 15 reps. Third exercise is a standing rear fly machine. And as you can see, a little bit more momentum and speed here, but always isolating that rear deltoid. Slight bend in the elbow, and you don't want to work your traps, okay? So keeping that elbow bent will isolate your rear delts more. And then I follow that up with some power poses flexing the biceps and the triceps, squeezing back on the rear delts, punching those elbows back to contract those rear delts. And this just accentuates the pump and increases muscle definition and muscle mind connection as well. Keeping that, those power poses going and so as not to lose the pump. So the fourth exercise is back onto the a shoulder press machine. This time we're taking a narrower grip which does tend to isolate the front delts a bit more and it hits my triceps too. So I'm working different areas of the shoulders in this uh, pressing machine. It's a little harder, uh, always a little harder to take a narrower grip. Again a few little power poses. Moving on to our next exercise which are machine side raise this is the hammer actually side raise 21 starting off with seven all the way up halfway down then my next seven will be all the way down halfway up keeping tension throughout the exercise on those medial delts so don't forget you're going to be repeating this exercise for another two cycles so regardless of whether you're doing medial delts twice or three times, you're gonna be doing each individual exercise three times. And then we move on to some, some flexes, some power poses, stretching those shoulders out, look, visualizing and looking for, for that nice pump, opening up, stretching those shoulders out with my overhead genie there. Flexing again with the most muscular. Back onto the leverage machine, this time isolating the front delts. So I face away from the machine, side on. Again, keep those uh, elbows slightly bent, and we're gonna bring it up to uh, slightly higher than shoulder height. And there's no rest between sets in this giant set routine. It's go, go, go. Switching arms there, keep your core tight. Focus on those muscles, getting them bigger, larger, more defined, getting all that blood in there. Obviously, it would be ideal if I was working out in the tank top so I could see and visualize you know, greater detail and greater growth. But yeah, we'll be coming back to this front delt uh, exercise for another two cycles getting in some more power poses there it's always a good idea to, to 
do that back double bicep shot because that works all three heads of your shoulder muscles, extending, stretching, opening up, and continue to power pose for at least 20 seconds after each exercise. Now back onto this machine, but this is another exercise. I know this is our third time on the Cybex press, but this time we are facing um, into the machine, which makes it even harder. As you can see, I'm barely able to get, what, eight to 10 reps in. Um, and yeah, taking a wide grip, working the, the outer shoulders and the medial delts, and of course the, the front delts, and this one's a, a great exercise. Amping up the intensity by, you know, just keeping it going without rest and more posing, more flexing, more muscle-mind connection just through, you know, continual flexing and posing and establishing a greater pump for greater growth. And, you know, you can just perform these power poses straight after each exercise. I believe this to be our final exercise. It's a basic standard side raise, full range of motion. Now I'm going hell for leather here, all the way up and bringing it all the way down, keeping my core tight, my back flat, flush against the bench. And I'm really going for it here. This is the final exercise in in uh, a total of eight and repeating this um, giant set starting from the top again repeat each exercise three times over shouldn't take you more than I'd say 35 minutes for a total of 24 sets and this is a great routine guys if you want greater size muscle definition core strength and just you know more powerful shoulders easy on the joints very easy on the joints and here i go just maxing it out hope you enjoyed that routine guys like and comment and please subscribe to my youtube channel